started so we can get Kiana out of here. Yeah, Kiana, I'll get, I guess I'll get it started. It's Cameron with the Courier Journal. Um, obviously, I mean, I, I was just going to kind of go ahead to, to Monday. You didn't play against the state last year, but you know a lot about them, obviously, from watching. Big game for you all. Kind of your thoughts on NC State and, and how you guys go about preparing for that. Yeah, I think they're really talented, really deep, um, and at every position. And I think, honestly, we're just really excited for the matchup. I know um, they lost tonight, so I know they'll be really prepared and amped and ready to go against um, against us on Monday. And we're just ready for the moment. A, a quick follow-up to that. I know you played some big games. You met Cal, Baylor, and the NCAA tournament, things of that nature. I guess – what, when you come, when you're playing for a game like this, is there extra emotion or kind of how do you keep you guys calm when it may be a top five matchup at home, especially? Yeah, I mean, definitely there's extra emotion. We're obviously very excited um, for the opportunity to play on ESPN Big Monday and to play against such a talented team. Um, but we just take approach it as another game, um, prepare the same exact way we do for – NC State as we would for as we did for Carolina or for Wake so same preparation but definitely there's some extra emotion there hey Kiana this is Dominique Gates with the Courier Journal uh you know the past two games is a little bit rocky but you all had a really just fast start just you know when the team is clicking like this offensively especially Coach Walls wanted you all to pass the ball better just you know how tough can this team be when everyone is clicking like that and, and the continued growth of just the post and uh, just you all just knocking down shots? Yeah, I mean, it's no question that we can score the ball. I mean, I feel like even in our past couple games, we haven't been great offensively, but we still scored, what, 79 points the other night. Um, so our focus has really been on the defensive end and getting stops and locking in on um, – the other team's uh, actions and, and key players and really focusing on the defensive end. Hi, Kiana. Tim Sullivan from the Courier Journal. The, the last two games were very tight. In the first quarter tonight, you, you really blew it open. How much of that was just, I guess, the fatigue passing that you had a, a day where you didn't practice? And were there other factors, do you think, that uh, that, that came together? I think it's just focus from us. Um, we talked about how we're the number one team and a lot of teams are going to be coming out strong for us and we have to throw the first punch. And I, tonight, I think we really did that. You really feel like you look like a, a number one team tonight as opposed to maybe the last week? Yes, I do. You know, what, what what distinguishes the number one team? What what What's the tell? Um, definitely just our effort on the – effort to rebound um, and sharing the ball and um, getting all players involved and um, especially our post players. Okay. You had six players scoring double figures. Uh, that's pretty unusual. Do you think that that's something that we're likely to see a lot more of as the season progresses? I mean, hopefully every game we can have six or seven <laughs> players in double figures. Um, but even though that is unlikely, um, that just goes to show our depth and that anyone can have a good night um, and, and score for up for us. Okay. Thank you. Anything else for Kiana? Thank you, Kiana. Thank you, Nick.